Hispanic Outreach at Moms for Liberty, Catalina Stuba, and Director of National Engagement at Moms for Liberty, Tia Bess. Good morning to you, ladies. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Hi, good, good morning. morning. How are you today? Well, I'm doing well. We have so many new candidates that have jumped in the race. We have more we're expecting next week. What exactly are you looking for in a candidate? Catalina, I'll start with you. Well, we are looking to protect the fan and promote the American family at all costs because the nuclear family is crucial to civilization. It is in God's design for humanity and it must be protected and celebrated. So every candidate should be talking about parental rights, should be, to should be talking about defending the integrity uh, and uh, defending all the liberties to educate um, uh, our children. Tia, how about for you? What are you looking for in a candidate? Well, I'm looking for a candidate that is going to make sure that our voices as parents are being heard. I want to make sure that our voices don't just count every four years, mm -hmm. that parents have a right in schools. What does your shirt say? I'm not a mama bear, I'm... I'm the mama bear, and that's Miss <laughs> Mama Bear to you. That's right. <laughs> well, well, Miss Mama Bear, uh, I, I really appreciate you standing up for the kids because it is important what they're learning in school. Um, what exactly stands out to you? I mean, I think of the state of Virginia. We all think of the state of Virginia because we watched what happened in that election. Yeah, well, for, uh, for me, I want to so make I sure. Like when they... what, Tia, we'll start with you, and then I'll come back to you, Catalina. Oh, sorry. For me, I want to make sure that our kids can read. I want to make sure that our kids are right back on grade level mm -hmm. where they're supposed to be and that parents have an active role to volunteer inside their child's schools. Absolutely. That's so important. Catalina, she brings up a good point because we've been talking, it's been in the news, this high school down in Texas where the majority of, of the senior class can't even graduate. They were told a few days ago that they could graduate and now they're saying they don't, they're not proficient enough to graduate. That is sad here in America. It's very sad, as you said, and I don't like when they use our tax dollar payer uh, to teach our children to hate our country, to hate each other, to weaponize our institution against parents, or to confuse or change the nature of our children, or to destroy civilization. What I'm looking for is uh, to restore education, to restore this trust in the uh, in this educational system. Tia, have you decided yet who you're going to vote for? For me, especially as a woman of color, I want to make sure that my voice is being heard. So I can't endorse anybody in the primary yet. You're just going to wait until until that election as we get closer? Of course, it'll be a surprise. Okay. <laughs> Catalina, how about you? Well, I will vote definitely for a candidate who respects parental rights, who is ready to defend the family institution mm -hmm. and, uh, and the American values. I think we have some quite candidates, good candidates so far in the Republican Party. And uh, we saw how um, Donald Trump and, and Governor DeSantis, they are fighting for defending children already. So we're going to continue our fight because we do not compare with the government and uh, we are not going to teach our children to be victims, but to be, to be a victors. Catalina and Tia, thank you so much for joining us. Great talking to y'all. Thank you. Bye, ladies. Thank you. And you can catch Sean Hannity. We mentioned uh, President Trump. He's going to sit down with President Trump tonight for a town hall. They're both in Iowa. That's going to be at 9 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time. Okay.